Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to MDRASA. Uh, I now want us to do uh, a past paper question relating to arbitrage pricing theory. Uh, that is from uh, May 2018, question number two. May 2018, question number two, part B. Part B is about CAPEM. I want us to concentrate on part B. The question reads, Philomena Mwamboza intends to invest in Blue Star Limited shares. The value of the company's shares depends on various parameters as illustrated below. They depend on the GNP, the inflation, uh, the interest rate, the share market index, and the industrial production. Then from there, you've been told you're required to determine the return of the company's share using APT, using arbitrage pricing theory. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. You are going to apply arbitrage pricing theory to determine the expected return. As we said earlier, APT is a multi-factor model, and therefore in this case, the expected return will depend on all those factors as listed by the examiner. That is the GNP, the inflation, the interest rates, the sh share market index, and the industrial production. And we know that using a uh, APT expected return of the portfolio is given by the risk free rate plus beta uh, of uh, the first investment uh, risk multiplied by risk premium of the first investment all the way to beta of the second multiplied by premium of the second all the way to BN PN. Therefore, in this case, we know that our risk-free rate is 9.25%. The first factor is uh, uh, the GNP, the na gross, uh, gross national product, whose beta is 1.2 multiplied by a risk premium of zero since there is no risk premium uh, in GNP because the expected and the actual value are the same. For the other one plus uh, the other one the, uh, re, uh, the beta is 1.75 multiplied by the risk premium which is uh, 5 minus 7 which is negative that one is negative uh, 1.5 then I add the other one uh, the beta is 1.3 multiplied by the risk premium which is 7.75 minus 9 this gives me negative 1.25 plus the other one is uh, beta is 1.7 multiplied by the risk premium which is uh, 10 minus uh, 12 which is negative 2 then from there we are going to proceed on to the other one. Beta is 1. Beta is 1. And then uh, the risk premium is uh, 7 minus 7.5. And therefore 1 plus 0 0.5. Which is a negative. multiplied by the beta which is 0 
Therefore, let's calculate our expected return. Let's calculate our expected return. Let's take the premium uh, with absolute values. We are supposed to take the premium having absolute values, and therefore, absolute values means that we ignore the negative sign. Therefore, it will be 9 point, it is 9.25. Plus zero plus one point seven five times one point five plus one point three times one point two five plus one point seven times 2 plus 1 times 0 0.5 this gives me 17.4 percent this gives me 17.4 percent to be our expected return. Then below that, 17.4% will be the value of our expected return. Then below that, let's do another question still pertaining to APT. Let's do another one. The other question will come from, again, the past papers. Refer back to the past papers. Let's get back to the past papers. Turn out to the past papers, a question from, uh, let me confirm the question. Uh, yes, a question from the past papers from November 2016. November 2016, question number three. November 2016, question number 3C. Let's get there. November 2016, question 3C. The question reads, the question reads, You have been appointed as a portfolio manager of Big Fund Limited. After evaluating the investment portfolio of the fund, you divide the market into four portfolios following two dimensions, value, growth, and small and large. The weight of each portfolio in the index is given below, and you, have, uh, you design the following model. You have been given the weight, the sensitivity of the factor, that is the market beta, sensitivity factor, that is the price book value, and sensitivity, sensitivity factor 3, which is the average capitalization. Now, using the APT, determine the portfolio that has the highest expected return. You determine the portfolio that has the highest expected return. Let's start, uh, we know the formula. Let's start with the small value portfolio. Small value portfolio. Small value portfolio. 
We know that the risk-free rate uh, as per the question is 2. So, small portfolio. Two plus the beta factor, which is 0 0.85 times the premium of 8% plus 0 0.8 times negative 2 plus 1 times 0 0.1. Once you do that, you get 7.3%. Then small growth portfolio. It is a risk-free rate, which is 2, plus 0 0.95 multiplied by the risk premium, which is 8%. Plus the other uh, plus the other risk factor or the other risk premium, which is two multiplied by negative two plus eight multiplied by zero point one. Once you work out this, it gives me six percent. Then we go to the large value portfolio. It will be risk free rate 2 plus 0 0.9 multiplied by 8 plus 2 multiplied by negative 2, which is the beta factor, multiplied by negative 2 plus the other beta factor, which is 8, multiplied by 0 0.1. Once we do that, using our calculator, it is coming again. Okay, sorry, the second one was uh, not 6%, it was 9.1%. So this one is the one which is 6%. And then the large growth, which is 2, which is the risk-free factor, plus the beta factor, which is 1.1, multiplied by the premium, which is 8, plus the beta factor, the other beta factor, which is 2, multiplied by negative uh, 2, sorry, 3, multiplied by negative 2, plus 10, multiplied by 0 0.1. Once we do that, using the calculator, it is 5.8%. Therefore, you compare these three values, these four values, and you come up with the one which has expected return, in which case it is small growth investment, which has an expected return of 9.1%. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you apply uh, the APT model to ascertain the expected value of a portfolio. So let's have a short break and then we proceed on. Thank you.